this part will help you to understand the um, the implementation better so uh, this is the simple example that I told you hope you can see this one uh, right so this is uh, the stddio stdio.h is is a header which is known as standard input and output header this is a uh, uh, we need this uh, library uh, these headers to use some predefined functions such as a scanf and printf those are uh, mainly used input and output uh, functions so in order to use them we have to include this library headers and then stdlib.h we need this one for the malloc fun function which we will which we will be using uh, during our program implementation so as you all know uh, you learned about the uh, structures or the link link during your uh, theory class so let me show something so this is the code this is the code for the implementation of the structure not structure so this is something like this from this code block we are, what we are doing is we create something uh, okay something like this this is the structure where it contain a data part and this is the link part this is a point so in, in here in, in the data part you store the data or uh, the actual data value in link part what you are storing is a reference to another node so in this scenario we are in this code snippet what you do is just simply uh, create the structure okay so moving to the so I have defined a create node function which is this is the function. I, can you all see the drawing that I have drawn? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Okay. So in uh, creating, so I have defined a separate functions to create uh, the node. In here, I have defined pointers. So as I said before, link, this is a link. We create a link and also we are going to uh, create same type. That means a uh, node type link inside this one as well. So this, which is void create node inside the function. We are going to create some pointers. So in here, what I'm trying to do is uh, create some great structure, something like this. Okay, so there are two nodes and these are linked and this is going to be the null and uh, there is a reference point as head or you also can call this start right so that and this is the data point the data inside the first node is 30 and uh, the data inside the second node is 20. so this is what i am going to implement in this simple program as you can see, I have created two pointers, which is known as head. So uh, this is just we are creating a point, something like uh, an arrowhead. We don't have if if you create something like this, you don't have uh, allocated memory. So in the next line, what we do is uh, we are equalizing the head and we are going to allocate a specific memory to this pointer. So now what we have done is create uh, something like this and we have allocated memory for this block. This is the card segment that how we can uh, allocate the memory for such structure. And then I'm going to, in so this whole structure is now known as head. I'm going to write it in here. This whole structure is head. So if you, if I want to access to this data part, then what I have to do is I can write something like this. Mm, let me clean this one first. Yes. 
So if I want to uh, access to this data, this data part of head, we can write something like this. Uh, head. Data. Now I can access to this data part. So I'm going to assign the value of 30 to that one. Okay. So in the beginning, we didn't have, uh, so this is the first node. So we don't have a re reference or a link to the next node. So I'm going to, so this is the uh, link part of the head node. So I'm going to do something like this, head link equals now. Because currently this uh, head is not connected to the next link. Okay. So do, do you understand this? If you have any question, please ask me now about this small section. Anything? Okay. So either you understand that very well or you un didn't understand anything at all. Okay. So I'm going to, so now we have something like this in here, a 30, 30, and this is, okay, so I'm going to create the second node as well. So I'm going to uh, have a reference, head reference in here. So uh, there should always, there should be a reference or a pointer which is direct to the other head. Uh, head of the linked list is. As humans, we can just look at that and say, ah, this is the head. But, but for the computer, they need a reference to identify the head. So that's why we are keeping a pointer in the first node of a linked list. Okay, so we are going to name it, name it as head. Now in here, in this code snippet, I'm going to create another node, which is named as temp. And so, I have defined the point in here and I am going to allocate the memory using this uh, this code segment which I have done to the head. So again, we can uh, so, so I am going to allocate data to this one. I can access this memory location by using temp pointer and data part is going to be 20. Right? Now, so we have something like this 20 and uh, this doesn't, con the, this, uh, the link part of this term is not connecting to anything. So now what we have to do is now we have to connect this to isolated nodes. So that's what's uh, what we call a link list so in order to do, do that since this one is the head we have to link uh, we have to give the address of this uh, second node into this link head link link of this head okay so what we have to do is now this is not null this is going to link into this second node right so in order to do, do that so this is but the code we have to use head the link of the head is equals to 10 now these two are connected so finally what we have to do is since this is the end of the link list the second node is the so we don't need to add uh, more more nodes to this one so i want to make this uh, the second node is the last node of the uh, link list so what i have to do is we can make this one now the link of the temp node is none. That's what I have done in here. So that that's how we create a, 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 a link list. And this is I'm um, just use this one to display the uh, the created node. So I will explain this one in the uh, uh, this one as the, the this one in the question one the answers of the question one so i'm going to delete this one and i will show our created uh,
Bara di sesuatu yang Whether I have that one in somewhere here I can copy this one Oh here yeah, we have that one in here But not the display function It's okay So I am going to show this one in the online compiler. Right. So uh, this is the whole code. Can you see the uh, the browser which can which has an online compiler? Hello. Yes, ma'am. Okay. So I am going to use. this is the same thing as the uh, word document and I just included the, uh, the display function which I wrote earlier so in here uh, I want to say and add another thing to this one okay in here what I have done is we have created uh, the head pointers inside a function so we won't be able to access these pointers outside of this function so in, if you are using uh, these pointers or any other variable outside uh, uh, in uh, many functions, then you have to define them globally. So in this display function, I have used the head. I have uh, created the, uh, something uh, called temp inside the display function which is uh, only valid for this function and this temp pointer is only valid for inside this function so but i have used this head which is uh, pointing which is which has the reference to the head pointer so i need to define this one global so i'm going to do what i'm going to do is define this globally so in order to do that we can do something like this so it will be defined globally okay so there are many methods uh, you can either some you can do something like this also if you need trap node and you can define head okay so this is another method that you can how to define uh, the head pointer globally and this is an uh, this, is, this part is one method this is another method so there are a few methods so i am going to use this one okay in here also i am going to define this globally so, okay and i am going to delete this one hopefully this works let me if, if it works oh it doesn't print why is that I'm not sure why that happened actually. Uh, okay, uh, let me check if I have another part of that one. Okay, 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 let's forget about that one. Uh, let's move to the uh, first question of the tutorial and you will see the uh, this one and 
before I something right on this as well I am going to copy this to the uh, summit okay so in here you can see the tutorial number three right yes ma'am okay so in here what you have to do is you have to create a link list with four nodes with which contain uh values 20 30 40 and 50 then uh, you should print something like this so, ex, uh, expect, no, so this is the expected output, but uh, I will some I will add some part to this one. So you will have to enter these values as well. So I am going to use a scan if to get user input. So uh, this will be taken by the user and it will print this whole section in the. Uh, When we uh, when when the card executes, right? Let's check this one. Does it? Let's, I'm not sure. Oh, okay. Lord. Ah, this is the reason why this why did uh, why. This, so we have to call this function in here in the inside the main method okay so this is how good see so uh, we have created the 30 and 20 uh, this is the uh, this is the, uh, the simple simple uh, link list we have created earlier so this is uh, the these are the entered data so i haven't so if we define uh, a, a function inside outside of the main function you have to call that function inside the, uh, inside the main main function so that that's why it didn't appear earlier because i didn't uh, include this one in here so i have all this uh, create node inside the main and i have called the display function inside the main okay so you have to if you if you if you guys uh, define a function outside uh, the main function then you definitely have to call uh, this uh, call that function inside the main method all right so let's move to this okay so i'm going to draw this one and so this is what we have to do we have to create four nodes which are linked together and first node be 20 30 and 40 up to the 50 and this should be the end of the uh, the link list and this is the head okay. all right so what this is what we have to do so I will show you the code and explain step by step. Okay, so uh, this is the same thing that I have explained earlier. And we have created the uh, structure, the node structure. The name of the structure is node and it contains two, uh, two data types, which is one is int, int data. The other one is a pointer node type pointer which is known as link and i have created a global pointer which is known as head so it will be uh, directing this uh, head head pointer will always be referencing to the first node of, of the uh, data uh, so link list so again we have a create node function which is uh, a little bit complex than the uh, first one that I explained. So in here, just forget the, about this part. I am going to. OK, so uh, let me uh, run this one first, then you will understand what I'm going to do.
Okay, so in here, you are asked to enter the number of nodes that should be in linked list. So I'm going to enter four. So uh, the program get the user input four, then it's going to create a linked list with uh, four nodes. So then it asks enter the value for the node one. So I'm going to enter 20 and it asks for the second one as well. So like this, we have to enter four values. Okay, so this is the code what I am talking about. So we, we are, I'm going to get the use input from the user and it will be displayed uh, after the after you enter the value. So this is the code we are going to discuss and this is the answer for the question in uh, tutorial one. Okay. Right, so uh, in here by I'm going to print enter the value for node one. Ah. Okay, so in here I'm going to create the first node separately and I'm going to create the rest of the nodes in a for loop. So you will understand how to uh, create the head node first and link that one to the uh, remaining three nodes of the linked list. So in here I'm going to get the uh, value for the first node and I'm going to use this scanf and assign the user input into this num. So I have already defined something called int num. So I'm, I'm expecting an integer value for this num variable. And once the user enter, enter the value, it will be assigned or initial, uh, it will be assigned to this num variable. And then I'm going to create two pointers. So this is a uh, temp pointer and pointer. So both of these pointers are in addition to this head pointer. So I will have three pointers all together. Okay, so as in the first example, I have uh, allocated the memory for head node. Okay, so I'm going to, we have, uh, we have created something like this head and uh, I so this is there is a pointer heading here and now we have uh, allocated the memory for this specific structure and I'm going to input the data into this uh, the data part of the head so in here you can see that uh, I have used something like this so what I have done in here is we I have entered the the num the value in the num into the data part the value in the num in the sense we have uh, the value that we get from the user input so i have assigned that one to the num so as you show show you in the program the executed program the first value is 20 you can enter anything but uh, in the tutorial the value given is 20 so i am just going to write it is 20 now and i am going to make this a uh, point uh, reference to null this is not actually necessary uh, initializing uh, the link value to the null but it is kind of a best practice coding best practice and now i have uh, created so we have created a pointer uh, a pointer in here which is uh, also a pointer and I am going to equalize that pointer to the head so we now we have two pointers which is directed to the head node you will understand why we need two different pointers when I explain uh, the code in uh, in future so in here i have included a for loop okay so since we have already have the first node so my for loop will continue from the i equals to i equals to until uh, until the number of uh, the size of the link list
Okay, so I'm going to so and uh, it will continue until uh, n e n is uh, lesser than or equals this n. So I have passed this n or the int value to this uh, create node. I must. Okay, so in here you can see this is the main method of the function. So I have asked the user about the number of nodes in linked list. So in here I am going to get the input uh, from the user. What is the number of the, the or the uh, number of nodes in the linked list you are going to create? So I am I'm going to allocate that uh, one into the end and this n will be passed to the this uh, create node to the create node function so that's how i get in in here so i have passed this int and integer in here and once you call that one in the main function it will get the user input or uh, user input assigned to this n value okay i hope it doesn't it is not confusing okay so so just forget about this follow and just let's see what is the what is inside in this uh, loop so in here we have created a, another uh, pointer which is temp so we have something like this now something called temp this is temp and We have allocated memory for temp and we are going to get the value value a value for the num from the user so let's uh, as the second value of user enters 30 and we have something so what i'm going to do is i'm going to equalize the temp data into num so what we have is if the user in enter value of 30 it is going to be in here as 30. okay so and i'm going to make sure the uh, the link of this temp is not it is not necessary you can just keep uh, you, you as it is uh, you don't even need this uh, code segment so now we have two isolated uh, what you call nodes two isolated nodes which doesn't have any relation in between them we have one head, head pointer in here and another pointer named pointer which is referencing the uh, this one and we have temp here okay so in here what i have done is pointer link that means this this part this is okay in here since this uh, node has two pointers it is something like this head link equals pointer link so it's single uh, so this is something at this point this is how it is yeah that means uh, the head link is same as the pointer link so in here what i'm going to do is i'm going to uh, equalize this pointer link that is that means the head link or the pointer link equals to temp it's the same thing that we have done earlier so i am going to point this one to this one all right so and and i am going to make uh, pointer equals pointer link so at this moment pointer link in the pointer link is this one now the pointer link is this one so what i am going to do is i am going to make the pointer equals to pointer link that means i am going to transfer this pointer into this now the pointer is this one right this does this is what uh, what i what we have done is we have uh, create we have moved this pointer reference to this one now this link is has the point reference and this uh, this is not there now 
so why we need something like that why need why we need a pointer that uh, goes to the link so so we already have this head which is always pointed to this head one and we we are going to create a, a temp nodes a few few temp nodes so it will be joined to the same the same uh, link list later but we have to keep track of all of this uh, pointers that that's why we need another pointer other than the head temp we need another pointer that's why we need it okay so when the okay so i am going to explain this one with the for loop now so we have all we already have temp in here sorry the head in here head and then we have add this uh, temp one here now we have two okay so we have at the moment this is null and this is head we have assigned the data values as well i'm not going to write in there so it looks messy so so as for the for loop what we are going to do is so now we have included the second one so we are going to again in this loop so in there the it is going to create another one another temp right so and we are going to get the value from the user and going to uh, assign that data and we are going to make that the make the link of this one null as well so then we have uh, we have point in here now because in the earlier we have moved this pointer to this second node that now what we have to do is we have to make sure so now what we are going to do is we are going to make this pointer link equals to this one so this is the line so what we are going to do is this one and make this pointer equals pointer link currently at, at the moment the pointer is this one and pointer link now the pointer link link is equals to temp and in by this line what we are going to do is we are going to equalize this pointer into the pointer link so the, this won't be in there it will be moved to here so this is the point where you are moving from one node to another so this is the point where you uh, skip from uh, one node to another in this loop. That's how we are going to implement inside this loop. So that's why we are going, why, why, why we need another pointer in here. We can't move this head one and we are using this temp to create an isolated node. But apart from those two pointers, we need third one to traverse through this work through the uh, data link sorry link list okay so any questions up to now anyone you can ask me anything related to this one so this is the discussion not uh, uh, a single sided one you can ask me anything so this is the only chance that you get to clarify things related to the uh, data structures for the sing, uh, singly linked list. Anyone? No? Okay. So moving to the, so what we have done is we have created the, uh, created a list now, but the, this won't be able to execute unless it is uh, included in the main function just like that happened to me earlier so I'm going to call that so in here as I told you earlier so I'm going to this is the this is where I get the size of the uh, link list and I'm going to call this create node and I am going to uh, get this variable in value and pass into this uh, function create node so you have to call that one inside this 
int function and this is where the display function is so in here what you are what i have done is i have okay so now we have something like this we have four nodes uh, like this and this is null remember always the uh, end of the link list always the link of the end node or the last node is always null and we always need to keep a reference to the head right okay so what i have done in here is since we have head here and i have created another point since we can't move this head point okay one of the thing is uh, with the link list is uh, one of the disadvantage in the link list is you can um, access data access data in the sense uh, only you can access data sequ sequentially that means you have to access this head first and second this one and this one you can't just directly access to the data in the third node you just have to go sequentially so that is what it is one of the disadvantage in link list so therefore since we, we can't move this head pointer we don't have any way to access these pointers sorry these nodes so that's why we are going to define another pointer so we can move that freely starting from this one and then this one and this one and this one so that's why we we are going to uh, uh, create another pointer so let's see what happens okay so what i have done in here is if head equals equals now i have a if condition if else and a if else function so in here what i have done is i am checking whether the head node is uh, null or not so where does this head come from this head variable is came from here the pointer where i have de uh, defined globally okay so make sure if you are accessing some variable other than uh, as, uh, one function you have to uh, declare that one in um, in a global way so every function can access right so head came from there and it contained the value of this uh, first node so i am checking whether the head equals equals now if the value of the head is null then the list is surely empty okay so uh, so we can't we can't print anything so it so if it is not null it will move to this else part of the if condition and i am going to make sure the created node in, uh, created pointer temp is equal to the head so now what we have here is something like this temp we have created a separate pointer temp and by this line i have assigned that one to the head as well because we have to go from this one to this one and likewise okay so so i have done something like so i have a while loop so in order to print all the data inside a link list what you have to do is you have to visit this each and every node and check whether the value is uh, what is the value of the data part so first you have you are going to be here and then here and finally the last one so how do we identify we are in the last node it's simply because the link of this last node is now so that's how we identify the end of the node uh, end of the link is so that's what i have done here so i am going to move this temp pointer until it comes to here and the this will so at in here the this will be not the link of this one is not so i am going to while temp is not equal to null then print data inside the temp data so at the moment temp temp is this one so i am uh, so what what does this 
statement do is you you are going to print the data part of this head at the moment and then what i am going to do is i am going to make sure the temp link equals temp that means the temp link is this is the temp link and it is going to refer this node temp link at the moment temp link, link is this one and i am going to equalize temp equals temp link which means we are moving this pointer to temp and this is not no longer in here that's how we are going to traverse through the this one as well all right so so you are going to do this until uh, the temp is not temp is not not so so when this uh, so at the end this will move to this one and this will be the temp and it, it is going to check whether the temp is null then this is going to give you temp equals null at this one this in this condition then it is going to exit the while loop so that's how we are going to identify the end of the node so it will identify uh, the it will print the data of this this node, the head node and the second node and third node and the fourth node so so this is the answer for the first one okay so i have uh, you have to keep remember this uh, display function also we have implemented declared as a separate function outside of the main function then we have to call this one inside the main method so i have get i am going to get the i am just printing the data entered in the list is as follows like this and i'm going to call the display function and it will show you the all the nodes inside their uh, created linked list any questions so far i hope you guys understand what i am saying can you guys at least hear me madam madam okay. you should explain the temp equals uh, temp arrow link okay so in here okay so i am going i am not going to use this one i am going to draw something in here okay so something like this let's see this is the data structure and this is the data part i am going to name this one as temp and this is the link right so we have a data structure name which is uh, the name of that structure is temp and it contains two part data and link so this is this is where you actually store the data or let's say uh, the, if this is an int the data is int we are going to store a int value in here something like let's say 30 right so this is a link where you prefer so you are going to store in in the link what you are going to store is a, uh, uh, a memory address so in the link list what what you going to store in the link is the memory address of the next node right understand up to that do you understand up to that one yes madam okay so in here we have head and we have temp so i have assigned two pointers to the head node because we can't move the head pointer somewhere as because we have to always keep the memory address of the head known so that computer understand where the head is, head of the linked list is so we can't move that so that's why i have uh, created uh, another pointer which is known as temp now this is temp so let's say so this is the temp one so this is similar to this one so in here this is the temp link right so if i am going to some uh, write something like this temp link the temp the value of this temp link is equal to this node all right so 
So the memory location of this node is stored in in this temp link. Okay, so th this is the first. Uh, the, this is the temp node, and the temp link, the link of the temp node, stores the memory location of the second node. Over the uh, node after that temp node. All right. So if you write something like this, temp equals temp link. Uh, this is looks like something. Okay, I'm going to delete this one. If you write something like this, temp equals temp link. Now we have head and temp here. And we have another node which doesn't have any reference point. Okay, so the, this doesn't have any reference point. These both of these pointers are directed to this one. So what I have done in here is now this is temp link. Can you understand that? So th since this temp link store the address of this second node, temp link stores the address of the second node. This is temp link. This becomes the temp link. So what now? What I am going to do is I just want to move this arrow, this pointer to this second one. That's what I have done in here. So I have equalized the temp equals temp link. Now, at once you do this, you are going to equalize this temp into this temp link. Meaning, you are going to move this pointer in here. Now, this is temp. There is no temp in here. Now, this is the temp. The pointer is directing to now. So, what is the temp link then? This one is the temp link. The next temp link. Since we we don't have the, we have we have moved this pointer into this one. Now, this one is the or the third node is the temp, the new temp link. That's how we. Travel through the link list. Do you understand now? Yes, madam. Now I understand. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Madam. Okay. Any okay? Any more questions? Anything at all? If you are not comfortable with English, you can ask Singhala. Also, so anything? Can we move to the second one then? Okay, moving to the second one. Okay, I will show you the question first. Then let's see what we have to do. In here, as same as in the first one, you have this part, the same part, and you have the same output. The only difference is that we have to uh, get the total number of nodes. That means you just have to count the number of nodes inside. Even though we we are going to give this as a, a user input, but we have to create a functions to count the number of nodes inside this one. The created link is okay. So I will move to the code. So this this part is same as this one. So we have this same thing, and I have created the same. Uh, link list. So since this part is same, so it won't it won't change. The creation of node going uh, the creation of node is not going to change, or the uh, expected or, or the uh, display function is not going to change. So what we have to do is we have to create separate functions so we can count the number of nodes uh, in the link list. Okay, so this is the display function and. Uh, this is the create node. So this is the create node function. It is same as the above. See, this is this is the same thing. I have done nothing to change this one, and same goes for the display function. And this is the node count. This is what we need to <coughs> add to uh, answer the second question. Okay. So now. As we did earlier, what we have is a, a, a link list with four nodes. 
something like this and the end is null and all of these are connected and we have head reference and we have value of uh, i think it started with 20 up to 50 30 and 40 this is 30 and 40 i'm not going to write it it will just miss the diagram so in here also as i told you earlier since we have to go through this always remember we need a pointer to go through this uh what you call this uh the link list right so i am going to create a temp and since oh, oh, so as i told you earlier oh, it always go in sequential way so you you have always you always have to equalize the uh, created second pointer to the head all right so i have done it in here i don't know whether you can see that yeah okay so i have equalized the temp equals to head now we have head here sorry temp here so what we have to do is now uh, same as the uh, display function I, I am going to check whether the head value of the uh, what you call the link list is empty or not if the head value is empty then i am going to print the link list is list is empty if not i am going to equalize this stem to head and okay in here also what we want to do is count the number of link list uh, uh, number of nodes in this link list so so in order to count that we have to move this pointer until the end of the link list so as you as i told you earlier how we identify the end of the uh, link list is uh, the link of this one is one becomes null at the end so that's the only thing we we can we have to keep in our mind so you so in the while loop as i uh, done in the display function what you have to do is you have to travel through this uh, link list until you find this empty or the uh, the node with null value the null link okay so in here i am again going so i am is if i am going to move this pointer i am going to make so at the moment this is temp and i'm going to do what what i'm going to do is make so this one is the temp link since this one is temp and this is the temp link so what i'm going to do is i'm going to equalize temp equals temp link temp equals temp link so so the pointer will move the temp pointer will move here and this will not be there any longer so now uh, temp is here and this is not it so it is same as the uh, display function you just have to move until the end of the link list so this is the con condition and this is how you move the pointer until it goes to the end of the link list addition to the display function what i have is a, a integer known as count i have defined the integer in here normally what uh, when we are defining a variable we normally define it in the beginning of the function you can do it in here as well there's no problem but as a practice uh, people normally uh, or the programmers normally define the variables at the top of the function okay so uh, i'm going the count i'm going to get the count so but in the this one the, in the question what we have to do is to count the number of nodes so i have uh, a declared uh, integer known as count and i am going to equalize count equals count plus one okay so at the beginning this is the one so we can add something like this as well so What we are going to do is increment this count variable by one every time this while loop works so 
when uh, this is the first node and it will be one at the beginning this is zero and uh, sorry the, hello sorry i think i got disconnected hello can you hear me hello yes madam okay so uh, what we are going to do is we are going to increment this count by one for the every uh, 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 loop of this while so if you are going to increment when when you are going in here this is count one when the pointer moves here then the count is two and when the pointer moves here the count is three and in here count is four so this is then i am going to print the total number of nodes this is the print function and i am going to pass this variable count so it will print the count well and this is so we have defined a, another uh, what you call a function no, a name as node count and we have to include that one in the main function as well now the node count is we have defined the node counting here as well so that's the uh, that's how we uh, count the number of nodes so i'm going i'm not going to run this one i will since we have uh, now done the session for one hour i'm going to move to something complex we are going to insert a new node at the beginning of the node of the link list. So this is just, uh, th this will only print the number of nodes. You can, uh, I have given you, uh, I will upload this one or uh, Miss Delaney will upload this. So you can try the code and see the output. And I will move to this, uh, insert a new node at the beginning part. So in here, Okay, I'm going to explain it in here. So the third one is you have to write a C programming for uh, an implementation to add a node at the beginning of the single link list. So what you have to do is uh, you already have something like this. And four nodes all connected and this is null this is head now you have to do is input a node with value 10 at the beginning of this one so we have here a, a node with value 10 and what we have to do is now we have to link this one to head and move this head pointer into this so that's what we have to do. Okay, so I will show you the code or uh, more specifically the function. Since uh, the, you see in here, this part is same as the previous one. So only the difference, difference is in here or this one, this part. This is the only, only different, different thing. So I'm going to create a function for that that part so i'm going to create a insert data in front function to include that new data so in here i have i am going to get the uh, value from the user as i discussed in the first one so and i will be assigning that one to the integer value norm and i am going to create a temp value temp pointer because we have to uh, it's something like this so we have this this and this and four nodes in here this is head now i'm going to create a term this is actually a node you see uh so this is in here we are going to define the term the pointer and we are going to allocate that memory so once we allocate this one it becomes a node so this is a node so by this uh, one what we have what we have done is same as the above 
this is i am going to input uh, the value for the uh, user input as the data data part so it is going to be 10 and so user will will have to uh, input the value 10 then it will be assigned to this node by this one so i am just making this uh, link of the temp is null it is not necessary but it just good, good practice okay so now what we have is a, a link list and an isolated node now what we have to do is if if you are going to include this one at the in front of this uh, what you call the uh, link list you have to link this the the link part of this node into the head that's what i have done here the temp link equals head the link the temp the link of this temp is equals to head and i am going to move since we need to keep track of the head at all times what we are what i am going to do is move this head pointer into the tail head equals tail is something just simple that's what i what we have done in here any questions if you if you understand the first part that i explained this will be very easy if you have any questions at the uh, the things that I have explained earlier, please ask. If not, you are not going to understand the uh, the other answers for the other question. Okay, so I am going to copy this one and I will show the output of this. So I'm just going to copy this function in here and and I have to call this function inside the main method. So I'm going to let's see in here make sure you have the correct syntax and i'm going to display this one. okay so let's just run this one okay so you have to enter the num uh, link number of nodes uh, it is four and the first one is 20 30 40 and 50 okay so it will display the currently available link list data entered in the list and now they are asking what is the input data that that you need to enter at the beginning of the list so it was number 10 at the uh, tutorial so i'm going to enter number 10 uh, okay so it will add into the Ten. So you can see the uh, the output because I have only I haven't used this display function after in, inserting a node. So I'm going to repeat this display function in here. Then you will be able to uh, see the namely entered value. So, so I'm going to do this again and for 20, 30. So I'm going to enter 10. Okay. So see. So this was the earlier earlier link list we had. And we have entered 10 now. And it will show the data 10 in here. So you see I have used the earlier defined display function. Which was uh, I used in the first first question. So it will so it will go from head to the end of the node and currently the head of the link list is 10 so it, it is painted printed as 10 up to 10 into and 50. any questions up to now anyone no okay so i'm going to explain this one so this is the fifth uh, this is uh, this is the fourth question 
even the number is five it is the fourth question so i'm going to just explain what what is expected of you to do in here and i'm not going to show you the or the explain the code and i will stick uh, skip uh, directly to the insert node at the middle which is uh, the sixth question because so i'm just going to uh, tell you how to do this one and I'm not going to show you the, oh, the explain the uh, code. So in here, you already have something like this. This is null. And you have head here. And you already have 20 up to 50 values in here. So what you are expected to do in here is you are going to enter a node, another new node at the end of the link list where so how you how do you un, uh, identify the end of the node the link of the last node the, the if you are moving a pointer up to here the link of this is always not so that's how you identify the end of the node so end of the link list so you have to add another node in here so which is contain the data part 60 so on go you are going to have something like this 60 so in here, what you have to do is you have to create this uh, link list first. We uh, we have discussed that one, and then you have to create this isolated node. You have to create something called temp and allocate a memory for that one, and you have to have a pointer, something like this. Uh, let's say, since you are using something, uh, you are using a the temp variable name for this one you have to use the a different name for this uh, pointer so i'm going to use the name pointer or just you can use just p or something like that so what you have to do is you have to traverse to this one to this one and this one so you will be you will be in here the pointer will be, you have to get the pointer up to here and then what you have to do is you have to make sure this uh, the the link of this last node is connected to the newly created node that means you have to do like this and how do you make uh, a node the end of the link list do, do you have to make sure this is null so this won't be null because you are going to refer uh, you are going to store the memory of this address in here so it is not going to be null and you have to make the link of the last node equals to null. So this is what we are what you have to do to make the uh, to add uh, a new link, new node to the end, end of the single link list. Okay, so I am not going to show you the code for. Okay, I can show you the code, but I am not going to explain it. I am go just going to show you here. So you are, see, see, I have created two pointers in here because. Uh, one is temp and other one is pointer because we need a node and a pointer so I have get the user input uh, which is going to be the 60 well it's 60 and assign that one to norm and the temp link is made to the norm and I have made the pointer equal set because we have to always go uh, from the beginning see I have just pointed this one so you have to do, do that in the code so if 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 it if you can't understand uh, what you have to do what you have to do you just draw the diagram first and uh, see what you have to do where do where do you have link link these uh, nodes so in that way you can uh, easily uh, understand the question so I'm going to make the pointer equals head and the pointer is going to equals pointer link. So this is the part. And the pointer link is going to be the same. Hope you understand it. So this is at the end of the year, you at the end of the uh, first link list, you have pointer in here because you are going to check the until it is null and now you have pointer here so what you have to do is make sure the pointer link is so since this is temp the one we what we created the newly created one so pointer link equals to 
temp right so that's what what i have done in here so that's the end of that one so uh, again this is separate function therefore you have to include this one in the main function okay i i will move so anyone who who didn't understand the process of uh, inserting uh, a node at the end Okay, so I am going to okay insert insert a new node at the middle of the single list. So this is a little bit tricky, and you have to think something before you do it. So what you have here is something like this: four nodes. I'm going to insert, and the last one is null, and these are connected. Just connected, okay. Okay, this is it. Now, let's see what we have to do. According to this, input data to insert in the middle of the list, sixty. So what we have to do is we we are going to insert a temp a, a node where the data part is equals to sixty in the position of forty, value forty. So what we have to do is we have to insert uh, 60 in the third node. So, uh, in the not in the third node, what we have to do is we have to uh, input a new node in here. So it will be the third node, and this node is going to be the fourth one, something like this. So we are going to have a temp here, temp. So I'm going to name it, it as a temp. And therefore, we, we need another pointer to travel through the link list. So this is going to be 60 and there's 40. So this is going to be the 40. Okay, this is going to be 40. Okay, so this is 40, this is 60. What you have to do is now insert this, this node in here you have to do insert this one here so 40 will be the fourth node okay now to do that what you have to do is let's see uh, what you can do is you have a temp link in here at the moment so what you have to do is make sure this one goes to this one and you have to take this the link of the second node to the 60 and this will no longer be there and so this is not going to be there okay so this is not going to be there and this is going to be something like this and this will link to the fourth so this is going to be in the this is going to be the third node and fourth will be the fourth node so that's what you have to do in here. So in order to find where the fort is, so so it, what they have given is you have to insert a new node where uh, the position of forty. So what you have to do is you have to find the position of forty, even though we can just see uh, see the forty just looking at the computer can't understand that. So it has to go through the uh, the node one by one. So then they are, they have to, uh, the computer has to identify where the forty is, and then you are going the computer going to uh, insert this sixty sixty uh, in the place of forty. You are correct. Okay, let's see the code. Oh, sorry. Mm, okay, this is the code. So now I have int num where again I am going to get the use input which is going to be 60 according to the tutorial and I need to get the position as well, position to insert the new node. In, in here you see input the position to insert new node so I am going to take it from the user. 
I'm going to take the value for this one from the user and as well as the uh, location or the position of this node as well. So I'm going to use a scan if and I am going to that I'm going to get that variable into variable location which is I defined in here. Okay now the variables are all set. What we have to now do what now we what we have to do now is uh, create pointers as I drive in here you need a head and uh, this is going to be the temp node this is not a pointer this is a node and we need we are going to be need a pointer okay so in here we are we are going to define pointer and for for the pointer temp I am going to allocate a memory memory location then it, it is going to be a node and we have one another pointer and the head you see this is I have used the head head value from the globally assigned value so I haven't uh, you see you can't see any, anywhere in here I have I haven't defined any head point so I am going to use the head of the head point of the previously defined or globally defined value so now what we have is okay so according to the so I have a while loop where you are going to check the pointer data so in here what we are going to move is the pointer value so we are going to point mm, let me draw it in here okay so we have something like this head and this is 40 and this is 60 here this is pointer right so what we have what you're going to do is so pointer data as you see that I am using pointer data pointer data in the sense I am going to access the data part of this each and every node so because we have to identify where the 40 is so we can't so if you are going to use the link part you can't identify the data or you can you you don't you can't get the value 40 or the data part so in order to get the data part we have to access to the data so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do uh, I'm going to uh, create a loop until the pointer data equals equals to location location in the sense you are going to enter uh, location in the sense at, th at this moment is 40 because we have to get that from the user and that's why I have passed it as the parameter in here or a, a variable so until uh, your pointer data equals equals location this uh, loop is going to run and what I'm going, going to do is until then I'm going to move this pointer like this from here to um, so from here to and then here after you get the 40 the point when the pointer data is 40 what you have to do is so this is the temp one as we have defined in here see this is this is the temp one and we have assigned the value of temp 60 here to the 60 in here so this is the temp link so in here what what we have to do is I'm going to delete this one now the point is in here so once you go through the uh, loop now the point in here so uh, what you have to do is temp link equals pointer link ah sorry sorry, sorry. this is not going to work i have done the mistake Which is going to be not equals.
Oh no, it's correct. Okay, so now we have if what, what we are going to do is we are going to check whether the data is equals equals pointer data is equals to location. So at the moment in here you have pointer directed to this one. Pointer and what you have to do is now Look, there is something wrong with this one. This is going to be something like this. And okay, so this is going to be like this, okay? Let me explain it to you. So this loop will function until the data, the pointer data is not equals to the location. So in here, the pointer data is not 40, then it will move to here. And the pointer data is not 40, it will move to here. Okay, so if, if in that case, what we have to do is, uh, if now the point in here, the point, now the point is in here. Okay, I'm sorry. Okay, so uh, I'm so actually sorry. So what what I'm going to do is, mm, okay, before that I will explain this. Uh, we have something like this. This is pointer, and we have a linked one in here, and something here. So this is pointer. Point. This is uh, this one is pointer and this one is going to be the pointer link. Pointer link. So this is the pointer link. So you can uh, you can access this data part of this pointer link by using this. All right. So this is pointer. This is pointer link and you can access the pointer link data by this one okay so that's that that's what i have in here pointer link data not equal to location not equals to 40. so let's let me explain again this one so we are going to start from the head and the value is not 40 and we are going so in here the value is not 40 definitely not 40. And in here, what we check is, at the moment, this is the pointer. And this is, we are going to check the value of this one. And it is not 40. So now the point is in here. Okay. So, this is the pointer. And this is the pointer link. Now, the pointer link data is 40. You see? Now, pointer link data equals 40. So it will ex ex exit the this uh, or break this while loop and come to here. Now what you have to do is you have the temp warning here. You have to make sure that temp equals to temp this is the temp link and the we have pointer in here which just write it pointer so this is temp pointer link at the moment this is the pointer link so what you have to do is you have to make sure this temp link is the pointer link 
you have to e equalize the templing. The templing equals pointer link. Pointer link is here. Sorry, this is the pointer, and pointer link is here. You have to equalize this one. That's what I have done here. Okay. Then you have what you have to do is you have to make sure this pointer link equals to ten. Then this is going to be like this. All right. So that's what you have to do in here. Oh, uh, did you understand? Any of you have any questions, or anyone who didn't understand this part? Where I have uh, made where I have made a mistake earlier. Anyone? Okay. So I will move to the delete one as well. So I am going to move to the delete uh, part and we have three more questions. So I will uh, just explain one of these and you can uh, continue the other one and we will uh, give you uh, the answer sheet for the other one. By I think by the next week, and then you can uh, run and see the output of these each of these functions, and make sure you have to include these uh, methods in the main methods in the main methods of the earlier function earlier uh, programming the program of this one. You have to just include inside this method. Okay, so I'm going to move to the uh, Delete from the middle. So, uh, delete the delete in the uh, in seventh problem. What you have to do is delete the first node. So, I just I will just go through the process of that one. What you I will explain what you have to do. Then you can just code that one on your own. So this is said at the moment. So now what you have to do is you just have to remove this one. So for that one, what you can do is, you since you are going to delete this one, you 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 need to make sure this uh, the second node is the head. So you you have to move the pointer to head. This one. This is going to be the head. No, this is not going to be the head. So the, this node will will be isolated. And after you isolated this one, you should uh, make you should uh, free this memory location. For that one, you just if, if let's say we are going to name this one temp, then we can equalize into null. So the memory location will be cleared. Make sure you need to uh, you are going to point the head pointer to the uh, second node before freeing the temporary node so i just show you the code this is the code so in here i am going to create a, 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 a temporary uh, pointer called temp and i'm going to equalize that one to the head and i am going to ask the you uh, uh, i am going to print a, a a statement data of node one which is been deleted so i'm going to access the head of the currently head data and i'm going to pick that one so this will output uh, the data data of node one which is going to be deleted is 60 sorry 20 and i'm going to make sure head equals head link So what part? What so since I have uh, assigned the temp into head, now I am going to make sure head equals head link. So this is it is something like this. It is same as the thing that I explained earlier. Temp equals temp link, something like that. So this is head. 
now i am going to make this is the link of the this this part stores the link of the, this is the head link so i am going to equalize head head equals head equal head link so this will be the new head and this 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 node will this not node will be isolated so we have already pointed temp here yeah, by using this one here we have equalized this to temp one and since the now the head pointer is in here what we can do is we can free this memory by using temp now okay that is just simple and same goes for the last node as well in the last node what you have to do is you have to first find the end of the uh, singly linked list and you have to uh, make sure the one something like this let's say this is the end of the node so what you have to do is you have to find this one this node first and what you have to do is you have to null this one you have to make sure the uh, the node before the uh, last node equals uh, the link of the last uh, node before the last node equals to null and you have this one isolated then you can uh, make make the that one null you can just uh, free this memory location so in here what i have done is i have uh, a temp i have temp equals to the head and I, I have a pointer which is equals to the temp so i have three pointers in here head temp and pointer because all are equal i have equalized all of these two to the uh, head temp equals head pointer equals temp something like a equals b b equals c then a equals c all right so what what i have done is i am going to move until uh, the temp link is now uh, uh, and until the uh, you 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 come across the null link then what i am going to do is so this is what i am using to iterate through the link list then what i have done is point now point equals temp temp equals temp link okay oh okay okay this is little bit compli complicated now what, what you have is pointer and the temp now if you are going to move you are always equalizing the pointer equals temp so at at at, at here this is temp so pointer equals temp as well you see so you are moving the temp and the pointer both of these pointers along with each iteration so uh, temp is moving and pointer point also moving so what you, at the end what you have to do is you are going to make sure the pointer link so both of these links are in here directed to this one and what you are going to do is make the pointer link equals none and you can free this uh, from the memory location okay so this is the uh, hardest one uh, delete a node from the middle one in here you have something like this this is head and let's say uh, you have you want to delete this one let's say this is 30 or 40 so you have to delete this one so in order to delete one delete this one you have to just isolated isolate this node in order to do that what you have to do is just make sure you link this onto this that's the only thing you need to do but in not like in the deletion but in the in uh, sorry not like in the insertion in the delete function we have to keep two pointers because you don't once this one is deleted we don't have access to this one 
so in order to do, do that we need a pointer directed to this one and a pointer directed to this one as well apart from head so we can access this node using the link of this one uh, the, the node we are going to delete it using this one and we can connect the node before deleted node using this uh, pointer so i will explain it in here it's uh, Okay, so uh, we are we are going to get the user input to position of the node that we are going to delete. So it's something like this. Uh, this is the question. Delete node from the middle of the single list. So what we are going to do is so input the position of node to delete. In here, uh, in the insertion one, what we did was we are we check the data part of the link list. But in here, we are going to check the position of the node in the sense uh, what what they have done in here is they have two five eight nodes in a link list and they want to delete the node at the second place which is five so in here they have used the position not the data part okay so this is the code segment in here what they have what i have done is so i'm i, I am going i have to keep a count as well because i want to identify in which location the uh, the location of the node that i am going to delete okay so this is the no, uh, link we have sorry we don't have this one only three uh, two five eight Okay, now I am going to get the uh, position of the node to the valid block, so the variable location in here, and I am going to initialize initialize the count one in here. So I am going to count the number of nodes in here one, two, three. So, so, so that I can identify the location of the uh, second node. That that's why I have used a count. So I'm going to go until the location is uh, greater than the count. So this this will always be one. This is going to be second, and this is going to be the third. So according to this condition, uh, this is going to be the this is the loop will exit when it is the number two because we are going to enter the location of. Uh, variable into location 2 okay so uh, what we have done here is we already have head here and them and a pointer so I am going to make sure pointer is always following the temp I am going to move this pointer into this one and I am going to make sure this pointer this one also follows the stem point because I want to keep the track of uh, both two nodes at the same time. So when I delete the middle node, it will it can uh, link the others. So what what I'm done he, do here and at the moment point equals stem, and I'm going to make sure that the temp equals temp link. Now the temp is in here. This is not long in here. And counter is increased by one. Count is increased by one. Then the count is two. Because we have initialized the count in here one as well. Now the temp is in here. So we are going to go again in here. Okay. So, so in here, number is now the count is num is two. It is it is equal to location. Yeah, sorry, it is uh, equal to location, but location is 
the count is not greater than the location. So these two variables are equal. So it is a true. So it will go through the loop. And in here, again, what I'm going to do is make sure the pointer equals 10. Now at the moment, pointer is in, in the first one. And what I'm going to do is I am going to move this pointer in here to now. This is not in there. Now the pointer is also in here. Pointer. Now both pointer and temp are in the same, right?
Hello. Hello, Denise. Can you hear me? Yes, Madhuri. I can hear you. Um, Denise, I am not sure my uh, internet is going to work. I can try, but I see a lot of participant has left. Yeah. What can we do? Um, and soul mods four. So shall we wind okay. up? Like you have. discuss more than we plan yeah of course so uh, so what can we do uh, shall we update the uh, so we upload the answer sheet or yeah, we, we will uh, upload the answer sheet along with the uh, video okay and uh, as a students uh, you you all have to try it by your self and uh, try to uh, compare your answer with the given uh, model answer so if you have any clarification you can drop me uh, me or uh, miss madhuri uh, any clarifications okay uh, so uh, shall we uh, wind up so uh, at the uh, saturday morning you will be uh, you uh, you can uh, access to the uh, those uh, two materials in the sims okay thank you madhuri oh, thank you thank you all hope you uh, learn something <laughs> thank you madam <laughs> welcome okay bye